How's it going, How's guys? It? Welcome to another Falcons film breakdown. I'm your boy, Lieutenant Dan, and we are breaking down some more film of the Atlanta Falcons. I have taken a small break from doing film breakdowns, but that's only because of time management, doing the day job, trying to get things done um, here in real life, and then uh, coming back to this and, and trying to give you quality content. I've tried to figure out how to make this less grainy. Unfortunately, Coach's film is just like that. Plus, it was raining in this game, so it's going to look like like really bad. <laughs> um, I've also had to try to com complete all my work with YouTube bombarding me with analytical uh, nonsense. So uh, thank you for watching the video. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, I do want to go ahead and say that this is a Tack McKinley video. Here is your boy, McKinley. And a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys, just three plays, this one and two others, of what he's learned up till week eight, week nine coming up, and uh, what he's been able to accomplish. Let's look at what McKinley's been able to do. On this play, you're going to see a double stunt, one from uh, Vic Beasley at the top of your screen and one from uh, Tack McKinley at the bottom of your screen. And what I want to kind of highlight here is the speed of which Tack McKinley goes uh, from running on the outside to jumping inside to this stunt. As soon as he sees the running back clear, he jumps into the lane. Unfortunately, the ball does already get off, but I think that with more time, McKinley can show people that uh, this particular type of play will be super lucrative for him going forward, especially when you drive a guy like Don Terry Poe or Grady Jarrett right up the middle. And it seems to me that the more time Quinn develops Tack McKinley, the better. Especially on plays like this particular play here, where you're going to see McKinley on the outside. Uh, the tight end's going to kick out with Devondre Campbell covering him. And then you're going to see the running back run up in between number 68 and number 70. Or excuse me, right up the middle in between number 77 and number 76 uh, for a running play. And so Deion Jones in the middle of your screen there is going to be able to uh, follow him. But McKinley is going to drive up the field. And with that quick athleticism, he's already up near 68. The play, though, is um, for McKinley to go back inside and uh, put pressure there. So, uh, great job. I, I just think that that's just a great job all around, just from the athletic standpoint. I've said it 100 times. I'll say it 100 more, that the Falcons will beat you one-on-one -on -one with athleticism. They're a team of athletes, and uh, this only proves that with McKinley's speed and then direct inside approach. It looks great. I love it. I want to see more of it. Now let's take a look at McKinley at the top of your screen. Uh, let's see right here. Cool, cool. And he's going to be working on the lineman to the top of the screen there, the right tackle. And what we're going to see from this play is McKinley uh, driving inside, puts hands on the running back, and is able to get this tackle for loss. Puts full weight into the tackle. I like the intensity, and this is what the Falcons need. They need an edge setter. They need a guy that's going to be able to stay their way. We saw that earlier in the year with Brooks Reed, and now I see it from McKinley growing, uh, maturing in front of our own eyes. Engages. He's looking for the running back and then puts full pressure and arm tackle into this play. I, I, I commend him. We need this on our team. And finally getting a guy that's able to commit to this is, uh, is astounding. It speaks to the level of maturity and uh, that he is taking what the coaches are saying. See, he cuts to the inside here, uh, just goes right under number 79, old sack of potatoes, and grabs this running back. I love this play. I love it. And we're gonna. I hope we see more of it. Let's show what happens on this play. This is something I haven't seen from McKinley in a very long time. The ability to bend inside, proper hand usage, speed to power, things that I didn't see a ton of in college, at least the bending. Uh, that's something that I didn't really see. And you can go into the comments section and talk with me about that and what you, what you like and what you don't like there. But using this as a tool to see what's going on, not as really just a learning tool, but to see what's going on. This play shows it all. Over eight weeks of McKinley working his butt off. Let's highlight real quick, down at the bottom. And what Dan Quinn has been trying to teach him, quick off, 
put your shoulder and arm up underneath and get to the ball. Um, allowing a vicious dog to get from point A to point B because, like I've said 100 times over, the Atlanta Falcons are a team of, if you're one-on-one -on -one matching up with everybody on the, on the field, it is the Falcons athletes versus your guys. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna see we're gonna see proper bend and technique through this whole play. Let's watch McKinley dot out on the outside over here. We're gonna break this down. This is just a testament to the type of player McKinley is and, and how he's gonna continue to develop. I cannot wait to see more of it as, as things go on. But let's watch McKinley. Let's watch McKinley's get off. Very good. All right. All right. The get off is good. I think from going from left to right, you can see that the line, it, the the faster guys, all the way to the guys that are kind of taking more a contain type of setup versus the guys that are really actually pass rushing this. And then McKinley, right about here, this is where things get interesting. McKinley at this point was kind of giving you an upstart jog, and he wanted to see where you were going to put your feet. And then he was going to cut inside. And right about here, you can see his body's tensing up to begin this jump inside. Boom! Explosion. Explosion in a short space. Putting his shoulder down and throwing his arm. You're going to see it pop up behind that um, 79 sack of potatoes. Whoop! You see that arm just pop right up. Pops right up. And that means that 79 is beat. He is beat. He, usually, in this particular type of play, you'd get washed out or you would get... If you're not using proper technique, uh, get sandwiched. Um, you'd get pancaked and pushed right out. But McKinley's speed and power allows him to push right up into the pocket. So now the pocket is compromised. And our quarterback here, number 15, knows it. He's trying to scramble away. He can feel that pressure right on his back. He's trying to get out of there. And McKinley gets the wrap up. Again, one more time. We'll put it at full speed. It's a bang, bang, bang play. Bang, 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 bang. Done. This is the time. This is the kind of guy that we've been hoping for, at least in Vic Beasley's um, tincture with us so far. And now we've got a power guy. We've got a finesse guy. Now we've we've got a guy that can utilize that power. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Help support it going through. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button um, as well as hit the notification button uh, to be able to get notified that new content is coming out. Um, please go support us on Patreon, uh, UNGR Show on Patreon, as well as on Twitter. Follow us there. Uh, you can always talk to us uh, about anything football related or sports related. You usually see me on there making a couple comments a day. Thank you for all the support, and I really appreciate you guys coming by. My name's Lieutenant Dan. Rise up, y'all, and I'll see you on the next Falcons Film Breakdown.